guys, getting a late start here. Uh, walking the dogs, do another video. Get a quick update here, start with the volume. Notable volume uh, came in. And really, if you look at the volume that started this little run up, it was, it wasn't incredibly high. There wasn't a lot of spikes. It was just, it's just constant, constant volume, um, net buying, right? And then, and then we see, then we see these major spikes here and price just climbing. Now we legged up, let's go to 24 hour. The dog's pulling me here, got a potty. Let's go 24 hour. We see, we see notable volume throughout and price increasing on increased volume. So a few of the other things I noticed the other day was that I thought might trigger, uh, you know, this little run here were uh, twofold. One, there was a large net outflow of coins off the exchanges yesterday. I think it was like 62,000 or something. A lot of people were saying, oh, that's bearish. Uh, they didn't understand it. They were <laughs> characterizing it as someone selling 62,000 coins. So totally didn't get that. That'd be uh, roughly uh, 1.86 billion. You can't do that in one day. That's got to be broken up and spread out. So that was, uh, you know, that was some FUD. But really what happened there was... Uh, you know, you could say, hey, you know, they took six, collectively 62,000 coins were taken off of the market, right? Moved off the exchanges to uh, cold storage. They weren't burned. They weren't deleted. You know, they weren't reformatted, right? If you take it off the exchange, it's got to go somewhere. Um, went to cold storage. Normally, normally... Um, when stuff like that starts happening and at high levels, uh, it indicates that there's going to be a shrinkage of supply. So anytime supply diminishes, you could have relatively the same demand and price will rise up. And rise up fairly easily like we're seeing in the charts right now. So if we go to the 15 minute, you know, we do see some large candles here. Uh, you know, eventually they might come back for these, but not anytime soon. Spent so much time down here accumulating, building long positions, right? Think about it this way. Every time someone sells, the market maker has to then um, make a purchase, right? They have, if for, for someone to sell, somebody has to buy it. So when the market maker buys down here, they're creating longs. So all they've been doing is building longs this entire time. So if we compare the volume and maybe look at, you know, how much effort was put in, we assume that uh, this can, can continue to at least the next target or point of interest somewhere around here, around our uh, 32 level. So I expect expect price to ladder up again you know I was selling all through here and um, actually sold here and I started I didn't really start buying alts till here um, you know I went to bed I had a bunch of sell orders I wasn't sure so I was hedging uh, both directions uh, but normally what I do is if BTC if BTC keeps climbing I'll buy some alts and what I'll try to do is have a few price points you know where if any, something's below you know like amp below four cents okay I'll buy it um, you know mana close to 50 cents Matic right there's there's certain certain coins uh, I even thought about messing with ICP at 30 cents I didn't I should have went up about 20 percent but um, that's part of the strategy all right, so we'll end this video talking about where we think price is going. So let's start off where it was. You see, we see a lot of uh, 33.2. We see 32.34. 
uh, points of interest. I don't think we're going to be able to leg up to 33 uh, so easily unless unless something comes out of that conference today, right? And they just use that as a catalyst. You know, my thought last night was we were probably going to be around 30.6 and hold there. And then the conference would happen, pops off. Then once I saw it climb, I'm like, all right, well, let's bump it up to 31. And then from 31, it could go in either direction. But now that we're uh, even higher, uh, 31.5, you know, it seems like this might be the place it holds. And then after the conference, let's go to the 15 minute. After the conference, we basically come back up and reclaim um, this area here. So what would that look like over here? Right, so here we are, there's that line. So something Teeter, teeter, conference happens, good news comes out, runs up, plays here, and then let's see if there's anything else. Because, uh, you know, to me, you know, if you ask me about the grayscale on lock, I don't care. Um, you know, what Elon uh, tweeted don't, doesn't matter to me. You know, I'm pretty much a uh, discretionary, discretionary trader. I look at the chart, um, you know, I kind of incorporate day trading and uh, some TA, but I don't sweat the TA during this accumulation phase. You know, again, I have theories and principles that I apply, and uh, that's what's been working for me. So I'm just gonna, gonna hold out and uh, look for this. I'm probably not gonna sell too much more here uh, or buy too many more alts. Uh, you know, I'm gonna stick to the plan. I'm down to 65% BTC. Um, Actually, no, 60% BTC. I was 77% three days ago. You know, the reason for that is um, Bitcoin tends to drop the least. It doesn't go up the most. But if I've got a um, situation like we do today where Bitcoin is climbing and the alts have been stagnant and all of a sudden the alts pop, I will jump into those because I can make uh, percentage gain greater than I would from Bitcoin then after fees I could still buy Bitcoin after it's gone up you know so if I get 10% in uh, Matic and Bitcoin goes up 4% you know after I sold it so right how do I correct that mistake well I netted about 5% with 1% after fees um, in that transaction so I'm still up I'm still able to buy Bitcoin and accumulate more so we'll see if that works out today. The only problem with that, though, I will warn everybody, is when Bitcoin falls, those alts will fall faster. So you have to be able to get in and out or just have a price target. So today, I just wanted to get 5% on those alts, and then I was going to move out of them. All right, so good luck. Happy trading. Uh, should be a good rest of the week, like I was thinking all along. So let's just keep hitting those targets.